one, we're looking at two more plants that you may find in the North Georgia winter landscape. And at first glance, they look pretty similar, but you can tell there's quite a bit of difference. There's up close to the leaves for you. Um, this one being opposite and also a little alternate on the stem, something to look at, but it's, it's mainly opposite leaves. And this one has alternating leaves, as you can tell. This is American holly, and this is a Mahonia species, probably leatherleaf Mahonia around here. American holly being native and Mahonia considered an invasive. Um, this Mahonia likely became, uh, and we have it scattered through the forest, it likely came here through people's landscape plants, um, particularly even next door I've seen them planted. So it can spread in that sense, probably birds eating the little berries and everything. Um, but I'm not totally hating on this plant because it's a good plant to have around and something that to look at with the berberine or excuse me with the Mahonia species is berberine and it's kind of signified in this bright yellow root you can see it even on the stem it's just all in there and berberine is a well-studied plant constituent there's lots to look up on it um, it's got a lot of action in the body you know antibacterial and things um, and this is a decent source of that. This can be used. It's, it's closely related to Oregon grape, which is used for the berberine in the root, if I'm not mistaken. Um, grows out west. So even though it's invasive and it's, you know, not native and all that, you know, there's still some medicine in this. So I can't hate on it completely. And uh, I'm sure there's plenty of other uses that I don't know about. But berberine something to look into. American holly, on the other hand, you know, a lovely plant. We like it here. We use it on our borders and perimeters for protection, much like the animals do, whether it's winter time or, or anything like that, any season, because it provides kind of a, a dome and an inner area that's really safe and protected. The berries, you know, are good wildlife use. A um, couple other good things like that, but, you know, some holly species have been used for, you know, because they have caffeine in them, like the yopon holly, and it was roasted. And, these leaves may have been roasted for coffee, but we don't know that it contains any caffeine or anything like that. So there's, two, there's a look at those two plants, and maybe you can better identify them on your own property.